Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today, we are going to be quarter sawing on the LT40. Before we begin, remember to like and subscribe to see more videos about milling, logging, and processing wood. A new product that we are going to start providing here at Ironwood is quarter sawn hardwood. I have never quarter sawn before, so this will be my first time attempting to do so. The boss is here at the log yard today, so he will be here walking me through how to do it. Today is just going to be a practice test along with a learning experience to see how easy and efficient we can make it. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07 so you can keep up with all of the latest stuff going on. First, I am going to quarter the log, cutting it into four equal parts, like you would an apple if you get my analogy. Because of this, you are going to want as straight a log as possible. If not, the ends of two of your wedges will be tapered. After I cut the log in half, I tried to turn both halves so that I can cut them at the same time, but it didn't work. So I line up one half of my halves and I cut that half in half, if that makes sense. <laughs> I try to cut it as centered as possible, but I don't measure, I only eye it. You can see it is really bowing as I cut it. I have a feeling that that will be a problem later. We've removed every wedge but one, and now for the tricky part. I am going to cut from the bottom every time, so I have to ensure that my dogs are all the way down. Turning it, I found, was a little awkward. Not being able to use the board drawback meant that the swamper had to take off every board. I flip the wedge so that the bark is facing the other direction and cut from the bottom again. I make my cut at 1 and 1 fourth thickness. This gives the woodworker a little room to work with if he wants to plane the board. Basically, you just flip your wedge back and forth every time you make a cut until it's too small to cut again. We were having some issues with the blade making some wavy cuts, so we switched from a 4 degree blade to a 7 degree blade, which worked a lot better for hardwood.
first log took a long time, so let's see if we do better on the next one. Regardless of whether I become efficient at quarter sawing or not, part of the reason why quarter sawn lumber is so expensive is due to the time that it takes. I did try and flip both halves again, but I just couldn't get it situated the way that I wanted it. I did do a little drawing on this log so you could visualize exactly what we were doing. One of the interesting things about quarter sawing is the direction that the grain goes compared to normal lumber. Instead of running horizontally through the board, it runs vertically. This allows for a much, much stronger material. I walked over to our plain sawn lumber so you can see what I meant. Here the grain is going horizontally, kind of in this rainbow pattern, instead of straight up and down. Though the cost of quarter sawn lumber can be close to double the amount of regular plain sawn lumber, the appeal to a lot of woodworkers has to be the internal rays that are exposed, especially in species of wood like oak. These rays are highly prized for the dimension that it brings to the wood. So what is quarter sawn lumber used for? Well, it is mainly used for cabinets, flooring, and high-end furniture. When quarter sawn, the wood is less prone to expand and contract, which makes it more stable all around. Not to mention, it wears a lot more evenly. And because of its strength, it has been known to stand the test of time a lot better than plain sawn wood. This would be why it's great for flooring. Plain sawn is the least expensive and most common lumber you will find because its milling is faster and there's minimal waste involved. Most mills, including our LT40, are specifically designed for plain sawing due to the different features like the board drawback. Quarter sawn lumber is more expensive because it is much more labor intensive. As for the leftover wedges, these pieces are not wasted. We put them in a jig that is moved over to the Bell's firewood processor to be processed into firewood.
because there is live edge on one side of every board, we have to run them through the edger. This is one downfall of cutting like this, but I would have to say in the end it is worth it. For the first day of quarter sawing, I think we did pretty good. I think the system worked out okay, let me know down in the comment section your experience with quarter sawing. Here's a glimpse of the final product. We will eventually be kiln drying our quarter sawn lumber after our kiln is finished. This will add a lot more value into the product seeing as how a lot of woodworkers want a dry product. Let me know if you want to see a video of us building the kiln. If you made it this far, that's it for this week's video. Remember to like and subscribe and to turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss out on another video.